How to treat diseases on a rose of Sharon tree. The rose of Sharon belongs to the plant species Hibiscus syriacus and is a medium size, tree like shrub that typically grows 9 to 12 feet tall and 6 to 10 feet wide. Rose of Sharon shrubs are beloved for their large, showy flowers that bloom during late summer in a variety of colors and double or single blossoms. The Rose of Sharon is susceptible to several different diseases, including fungal and bacterial leaf spots, gray mold, root and crown rots, and hibiscus chloritic ring spot virus. Diagnose the disease before attempting treatment. Things you'll need Pruning shears or loppers Bleach or alcohol-based solution Diagnose the disease Diagnose fungal leaf spots by looking for small to prominent dots or raised spots on the rows of Sharon's leaves. The leaves might have yellowish or brownish spots on the surface, and the leaves may fall off. Identify bacterial leaf spots or blight caused by the bacterium Pseudomonas syringae by inspecting the rows of Sharon's leaves for large, irregular or angular spots on the leaves that are brown to black in color. The rows of Sharon may have stem tip and blossom dieback, as well as blackening leaf veins and stem cankers. Bacterial blight typically occurs during wet, rainy weather in spring. Look for wilted foliage and discolored. Stunted leaves on the rows of Sharon to diagnose root and crown rots caused by Phytophthora species fungal diseases. The leaves might drop, and a streak, stain or canker may develop on the main stems or branches. The infected bark areas might ooze a reddish-black sap as well. Check for discolored or spotted flowers to identify the fungal disease gray mold, also known as botrytis blight. Gray mold occurs during high humidity, typically causing the flower buds to rot, the leaves and shoots to wilt and drop and the twigs to die back. Diagnose hibiscus chloritic ring spot virus by looking for stunted and distorted leaves that have streaked or spotted discoloration. The discoloration on the leaves will appear chloritic, meaning pale colored or yellowish. Hibiscus chloritic ring spot virus also causes round, ringed spots on the leaves. Treatments Pick off and discard or destroy all leaves infected by bacterial and fungal leaf spot. Reduce excessive moisture on the foliage by watering early in the morning, avoiding the use of overhead sprinklers. Fungal leaf spot diseases rarely require treatments with fungicides. Prune away and discard all leaves, branches and stems that display symptoms of bacterial leaf spot and bacterial blight. Make the cuts with clean, sterile, pruning shears or loppers. Prune the rows of Sharon when conditions are dry to prevent spreading the disease, and avoid over-fertilizing the shrub. If cankers appear on the main stems or trunk, the shrub probably will die and have to be removed. Cut away all branches infected by root and crown rot. Cut back any branches that have cankers to help control the spread of the rot disease. Prune away and discard all dead or dying leaves, stems, twigs, flowers and buds to treat gray mold. Clean up and discard all fallen leaves and flowers. Prune the shrub's branches to thin out the top canopy to improve air circulation, and don't use overhead watering. Water, prune and fertilize your rows of Sharon properly to help improve the shrub's health and vigor if it has hibiscus chloridic virus. No curative treatment exists for this virus, so the rows of Sharon might need to be removed if the infection begins to severely affect the shrub's growth and appearance. Tips Warnings Another disease that can affect rows of Sharon shrubs is Armillaria root rot, which causes similar symptoms as other root and crown rots. Armillaria root rot also causes branch dieback back around the top of the rows of Sharon, mushroom clusters at the shrub's base and black or reddish-brown shoestring spore structures around the shrub's roots. There is no cure for Armillaria root rot. Don't confuse gray mold or bacterial blight with poor cultural care all of which can cause bud drop on your rose of Sharon. If your rose of Sharon isn't displaying any other symptoms other than bud drop, the shrub could be suffering from underwatering or overfertilization. When pruning your diseased rose of Sharon, disinfect your pruning tools before and after use by dipping them in a bleach or alcohol and water solution to prevent spreading the diseases to your other landscape plants, trees and shrubs. <laughs>